Gracie, Earl Spence, two best guys. I don't think we'll ever see them fight. I really don't. It's terrible. We should. You guys should fight. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the economics of boxing, that's just the way it is, I guess. It, yeah, he ducking them. Absolutely he ducking them. Yeah, y'all take that. He ducking Terrence Crawford. So that Man, I don't care about easier. no side of the fence. For me, I don't care. Side of the fence, this is the world of boxing. Two, this is the second thing now. I'm going to give it to y'all right now. The second thing is, is that when the hell have we been doing business or anybody from Top Rank been doing business without him? Without him and the side of the street or the... the Bro, I don't, listen, it's there. It's there because when I was when I was coming up, that was the problem. I couldn't fight anybody from PBC. You know what I'm saying? We didn't do business with PBC. One. And two, the WBC did order it, but the fight wasn't going to be made because we didn't ever do business with them. If you know, you know, and we all know this was just an accident ready to happen. Dante, I always say the most dangerous weapon in the world is a microphone and a camera. And Timothy Bradley fell in that trap because at the end of the day, there's so many red lights you could cross before you hit another car. And Timothy Bradley kept on by saying Errol Spence is ducking Terrence Crawford for this reason, for that reason. However, Timothy Bradley would tell you that them same reasons don't apply for Errol Spence, even though they the same scenario. So I don't know if Timothy Bradley forgot that he stated last week, Errol Spence is ducking Terrence Crawford and there's no such thing as across the street. Because as y'all heard in the clip, he stated that the reason he avoided an Errol Spence when the WBC ordered that fight to happen it was due to Errol Spence being on PBC and Timothy Bradley fighting for top rank. And that's what we've been saying all along, Timothy Bradley. Errol Spence already stated that he won a unified division. He will become undisputed before moving up to 154 pound division and fight Terrence Crawford. However, since the fights on his side are easier to make, and that's fights with the likes of Manny Pacquiao, Sean Porter, maybe a Danny Garcia or a Keith Thurman if the Terrence Crawford fight can't happen after that. He already stated he willing to fight Terrence Crawford. However, he want to get the Manny Pacquiao fight out of the way since Manny Pacquiao left top rank and went to Al Heyman, something that Terrence Crawford should have done instead of re-sign with top rank. If Pacquiao, his longtime fighter, left Bob Arum, Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, Mikey Garcia, all these fighters left top rank for a reason, because I Heyman is paying them more money. So just like Terrence Crawford need to leave top rank since his contract will be up this year, just like Timothy Bradley should have left top rank back in the day instead of re with them, and he could have fought all these PBC fighters that he claimed he couldn't have fought. Timothy Bradley chose to stick with top rank and he re-signed with top rank and he could have fought Floyd Mayweather, he could have fought Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Errol Spence and the list goes on and on and on. So the reason Timothy Bradley chose to stick with top rank because it was the safe zone. And for Timothy Bradley to claim that he chose to stick with top rank so he could fight Manny Pacquiao again, I mean... I believe at the time he already fought Manny Pacquiao and when the WBC ordered the fight to happen, he didn't have to fight Errol Spence then. He could have fought Errol Spence on the Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather undercard. They did business then. Timothy Bradley claimed he couldn't fight Errol Spence or the PBC guys because top rank didn't do business with the PBC. However, in 2015, Floyd Mayweather fought Manny Pacquiao and actually HBO and Showtime worked together to make that fight happen, the BBC and Top Rank. And since Timothy Bradley wanted to fight the PBC fighters so bad, he could have fought uh, a Errol Spencer, Keith Thurman, a Danny Garcia even, on a Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather undercard. But he elected not to do so. And by that time, Manny Pacquiao already beat Timothy Bradley in a rematch. Timothy Bradley already fought Manny Pacquiao twice. So if that's the case, you can't blame it on, oh, I'm waiting on Manny Pacquiao. That chapter was already closed. 
So my point is, Timothy Bradley tried to justify him ducking Errol Spence, but he want to accuse Errol Spence of ducking Terrence Crawford when Errol Spence is not ducking Terrence Crawford. When Terrence Crawford himself stated that Errol Spence is not avoiding the fight with me, it's just business. And that's what we saying all along. But Timothy Bradley want to switch the narrative. But when it's applying to him, then, oh, no, nah, let's bring it back. So that's why I made my last video and I pointed out that Timothy Bradley even avoided an Amir Khan at 140. So what's the excuse for that, Timothy Bradley? Amir Khan, at one point, I know it's hard to believe, but he was one of the best 140 pounders. Him and Timothy Bradley, they were supposed to fight to see who's the best 140 pound fighter and unify the division. But Timothy Bradley elected not to do so and moved up a division. So that's why in the present day, Timothy Bradley actually stated that's one fight he will come out of retirement for. It's an Amir Khan fight because he feels that he avoided that fight and he want to beat an Amir Khan because he felt like he could beat an Amir Khan. However, when it was time for him to fight an Errol Spence, we all know what happened. He chose to retire. So all I'm saying is, Timothy Bradley, if Terrence Crawford is your guy and you ride or die for your guy that fights on your stable, then why when Lomachenko moved up to the 135 division, you were screaming out Lomachenko is the number one pound for pound. I thought Terrence Crawford was your guy. And to be honest, we all know Terrence Crawford is the number one pound for pound fighter. Lomachenko lost to Salido. Keep the same energy with Lomachenko. Why you didn't call out Lomachenko for ducking Salido if you this honest person? If you support your own, however, when it comes to Lomachenko, are you claiming he the best pound for pound, even though Terrence Crawford, your guy, is the number one pound for pound? And there's no argument about it. However, you want to please top rank. You want to please Bob Aaron. And then, on the other hand, if you claim you are for boxing, Tyson Fury ran to ESPN to avoid a Wilder fight. You claim you want to see the best fight the best, right? If that's the case, then why you don't call out Tyson Fury for avoiding the rematch since the first fight was a draw and Wilder wanted to run it back and gave him a 50-50 split? And 40 million, in fact. And instead, Tyson Fury elected to go to ESPN to fight Tom Swartz, a guy that's ranked number 63 for 1 million. Why you don't call out Tyson Fury for fighting two bums back to back and avoid a Deontay Wilder fight in the process if you want to see the best fight the best? Like I said time and time again, keep the same energy. I don't got no problem with anybody's opinion as long as they stay consistent. And on top of that, you know, opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. Facts matter at the end of the day. So for Timothy Bradley to go on and claim Errol Spence is avoiding the Terrence Crawford while he's fighting a dangerous Sean Porter that he claims is a beast. However, he don't call out Tyson Fury for avoiding a Deontay Wilder fight and fighting two bums instead. And he don't call out Lomachenko for avo avoiding a Salido. However, he want to go all out on Errol Spence. And when it comes to Lomachenko, he don't want to support his own Terrence Crawford. When it comes to Tyson Fury, he don't want to keep the same energy and support his people, Deontay Wilder. Like I said, it seemed like he has an agenda. It seemed like he has a hatred toward Errol Spence. And he's speaking from the heart, not the mind. So um, I could say more, but... I don't need to say anymore. I mean, the clip says it all. You know, him contradicting himself and just ran into an accident and crashed. It spoke for me, you know, and supported everything I stated in my previous video. So, like I always say, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't uh, listen to these casual fans. And uh, follow Lon Toon Boxing for the funniest boxing memes. Follow me at Aki TV on Instagram. Follow me at Aki TV on youtube and subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live also follow dante news nation and dante travel nation in the description box below and to be continue on the next episode of aki tv peace and we out of here